allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. My name is Pierce Kinnear. As deputy moderator, I have been uh, asked to chair this uh, evening's special meeting. And I will start by asking the town clerk to read the notice of the meeting, the assistant town clerk. Notice is hereby given of a special town meeting of the town of East Lyme to be held on March 15, 2017 at 7 p.m. in the East Lyme Town Hall upper meeting room for the following purposes. One, to approve a special appropriation in the amount of up to $36,586.48 from the remaining balance of the 2015-16 vehicle acquisition program to purchase a vehicle for the police chief and forward to the Board of Finance for approval. Data East Lyme, Connecticut, the first day of March 2017. And this was recorded in the town clerk's office, advertised in the day newspaper, and posted on the sign post. Thank you very much. Uh, regarding eligibility to vote, Connecticut General Statute 7-6 states, registered voters, taxpayers of the town of East Lyme, and those paying a minimum assessment of $1,000 on the grand list of, nine, of uh, 2016 are eligible to vote. Connecticut General Statute 9-360 deals with penalties for voting if not franchised. Uh, we will deal with this single item in the notice, uh, and it's my understanding our first selectman will speak to us on behalf of the motion. We want a motion first. A uh, motion would be in order. Sir, I, I, I uh, someone else make the motion than myself. So motion to the tax The motion would be to approve a special appropriation in the amount of up to $36,586.48 from the remaining balance of the 2015-16 vehicle acquisition program to purchase a vehicle for the police chief and forward to the Board of Finance for approval. All right. Second. Moved and seconded. Have we got the names? Yep. Thank you. Now I will ask the first selectman then to speak on behalf of the motion. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. And thank you for stepping in. Much appreciated. I heard we're going to use your services next week. Um, should we have a town meeting next week to be determined and to be scheduled? This is um, uh, the expense for uh, the police, police chief's car. And where we had um, very specifically detailed many upfront costs this is one of them but this is um, this is coming earlier than we anticipated because we did we were able to save some money with the purchasing of other vehicles um, often when we do these motions we say up to a certain amount like our motion tonight and we're able to go out onto the market and actually get a better price than we anticipated <laughs> Additionally, we have some trade in value that we've been able to bank as well. So we're able to do it this year, in other words. We have money in, uh, left over in this year's capital. And we'd rather, with the looming budget crisis uh, coming from Hartford um, and our, our, you know, our wishes to try to keep the tax for, uh, taxes l as low as possible going into next year, this is a prudent move to, 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 to do it this year. As well, we anticipate that the police chief may be hired in the next couple of weeks, working as early as May 1st in our town. Um, and that being the case, we could use, a, he's going to need a car to, uh, to do his job 100%. So again, this is identified uh, upfront costs. There will be others that we'll talk about at our town at our board of selectmen meeting tonight. Um, and uh, this is for a new police chief car for the new independent police force. Thank you. Is there any discussion on the motion? If not, uh, yeah. well, are we ready for the question? Oh, there is a question on the item. Yes, sir. Uh, John Drabick, 18 Drabick Road. So you have money left over from 2015 and 16 vehicle acquisition, meaning you didn't burn it up. 
And now you come forward wanting to use it, the amount of up to 36000 and change. Uh, are we looking at a new vehicle, used vehicle? What are we talking about here? I, I have yet to uh, I, I hear an answer. Be happy to answer that. It was, there was a lot of discussion on that, actually. It has to be a police-type vehicle, so we can't go just down to Plaza and pick up a Ford. Um, uh, it's got to be, uh, you know, the certain engine and the certain stock. Um, it will be a new vehicle. This vehicle will not be used like the ones we have in our rotation now. We anticipate this to, to last a seven or eight year period of time. That's typical of police chief vehicles. So we'll get the mileage out of it, getting a new vehicle. We're not buying someone else's problems. And we will have this for a long period of time. I'll stand by Wouldn't it make more sense to buy a regular police cruiser and give this guy one of the older cruisers? He's not going to be putting the mileage on that these other guys are. Mr. First Selectman? It was part of the discussion, sir. I agree. I actually, in my budget presentation, I presented a, a used vehicle uh, and uh, was voted out of that. But. Um, um, we're, we're putting him in a new vehicle. He is the chief of police in our town, uh, uh, not anyone who will be put on a pedestal or in a lofty position, but someone who would, would uh, of course, naturally get respect. And, and he's going to be in our town, I hope, for a long time, uh, presiding over town. Listen, we, could, we can move a, a, a regular police car would be more money because we'd be buying that and then putting the package in it and taking the package out of the other one. Uh, to refit a new, uh, an old police car into a uh, police chief's car would be the same money, John. It would, it, we're not really talking about savings here. The savings came from buying vehicles at a lower amount than we anticipated, and I'm happy to report that. I'm voting against it. I just soon buy a cruiser that's going to go to work. They can take some prima donna car that's still in the works and give it to the police chief. He's not out doing high speed chases. He's not on call 24 hours a day in that respect. It doesn't seem to make much sense doing it this way. How many police cruisers does the town of East Lyme have right now? Active used cruisers. So it's for the microphone. Around 14 in that number, does that include the detectives' cars? Uh, the detectives' cars are outside of, outside of that number, 14 plus another two. Last year we actually ran out of cars. We had a couple that were in for service and two that were in accidents. So that number is a good number to use. Um, I understand. We could, we could play this either way. We could buy the new car for the cops and give the, give the chief another one. We're still in the same kind of money. And this is, by the way, by contract and by the job description, this will be a working chief. No, not high-speed chases. I agree with you, but not sitting it behind a desk either. This guy's going to be out on the street working. I'm not convinced. Thank you. Thank you for your input, sir. Is there any further discussion? One more. I'm sure it's included. Uh, Terrence, down to 25 Woodward Road. Does this include, like, the radios and the lights and all that, or is this just the vehicle? Uh, Sergeant Masick, East Lyon Police Department. Uh, the funding for up to, yes, it, it does include, include a, uh, so we're not getting the full light package, whole nine yards that the uh, line cars do have. It is a downgraded version of that. Um, so, again, it's a police vehicle, so, it, I mean, he will be working chief, so he'll made the, um, need to make stops. If he does, in fact, get into a pursuit, he does have that, I mean, there is that so ability. that amount that is being um, requested includes lights and radios. Correct. And anything else that is needed in that police car. Correct. Whole kit and caboodle. Whole kit and caboodle. Correct. Thank you for your comments. Is there any further uh, discussion? I guess then in that case, are we ready for the question? All those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Nay. The ayes have it. Uh, the motion is passed. Uh, we have completed action on the regular agenda for this special meeting. If there are no objections, a motion to adjourn would no be in order. Second.
Second. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you very much.